So speaking of your retirement plan, kind of with that in mind, let's shift gears a little bit. Um, we got a lot of questions about, um, should your home be part of your retirement plan? Since we're talking about kind of the holistic picture, if you will, how does that fit in? Yeah, we've, I think we've gotten that question going back since 2009, you know, especially after the financial crisis and the housing It's a valid crisis. question. It's it is a valid question. I, I think that to really incorporate the equity that you have in your home, especially after the past couple of years where home values have gone up you know, dramatically. Astronomically. Yeah. And so <laughs> I think, you know, before you factor that equity into your retirement plan, I really think you need to figure out what is your plan for that house? What is your plan? Are you, do you plan to stay in that house? Do you plan to move, downsize? You know, what are you really looking to do? Because if you're just looking to stay in the home and you don't plan on ever selling or downsizing, I don't think it's really appropriate to add that into a retirement plan. You can add it into your net worth statement, of course, but to base your entire retirement success on the equity in your home, most people aren't going to necessarily tap into that equity. And when you do, it's you, are you taking out a, a, you're taking out a loan to do that. Or reverse mortgage or things that used to be popular that maybe aren't so relevant anymore. Exactly. So you're, now you have this inflated sense of, you know, retirement success. If you add it in there and you say, well, you know, I bought my home and it was 300,000 when I bought it, it's now worth 700. I've got $400,000 of equity. That's going to bump my retirement success up quite a bit. Well, wait a minute, if you're staying in the home forever, you're not really tapping into that. And I think by adding in a home to a retirement plan that you don't ever plan to move out of, it really can create a false sense of retirement success. So I think- So on the converse of that though, if you are planning to downsize or, or something like that or sell it, then you can consider it in part of your retirement. But if not, you're saying stay away from kind of adding that in. Absolutely. If you're planning on downsizing or, you know, just selling it and renting or, you know, anything, any changes with that property, then yeah, you can add that in there. And, you know, I think adding and modeling that in your re- retirement plan as well, because if you downsize, there's going to be costs associated with the next place. Um, so all of the equity you have in your home might go towards purchasing another place, even though it's going to be cheaper. So you'll have some difference there. So I think making sure that Which you would especially be true with interest rates rising. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's the thing is that, you know, with interest rates rising, how many people are willing to get rid of a, a mortgage that they've got a two or two and a half percent loan on to go out and get a place that they've got a three or 4% loan on. So I think that speaks too to the, the housing market in general right now. I mean, the fact that, that there's such a limited supply. I mean, you were telling me the numbers just the other day of the, the homes that are actually for sale right now. What was it? I think it was uh, like 270 or 271,000 total U.S. total homes, single family homes in the U.S. right now, which it's amazing. You know, it makes this uh, makes me think, I don't think we're ever going to buy another place. <laughs> we're, we're staying where we're at. So I was just going to say, should we just go out and sell our house? What do, what do we do? No, we're, we're I don't. I don't think you're going to, you know, people should make a, you know, a big major change just based on, you know, the equity they have in their home. I think it really comes down to what is your lifestyle? What do you want to do with that property when you're thinking about adding that into, you know, your retirement? And that's something you should probably consider at any stage of, of where you're at, even if you're younger and not necessarily headed right toward retirement in the immediate future, but something that you should definitely consider as you're going through looking at your other investments and retirements. Exactly. You've just watched a clip from the Retire Ones show. You can catch the full episode here. Thanks for joining us. Just a reminder, please subscribe wherever you're listening to this, Apple Music, Spotify, or if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you subscribe.